It's Sunday setup time. Hello, my friends. Welcome if you're new and if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. So, the girls spent the night at my mother's last night. Yes, okay. <laughs> So uh, we um, went shopping yesterday. The da our daddy-daughter dance is next weekend, so the girls went and picked out their dresses and their shoes and stuff. It was really, really cute, and they ended up, uh, my parents went, went with me and my sister, and they ended up spending the night at my mother's. So, thank you so much, Mom. It was much needed. <laughs> so I am about, Charles and I just relaxed this morning. It was so nice um, to that, be woken up. <laughs> and. Um, so now I'm about to make us breakfast. I'm gonna make myself some keto pancakes and some um, bacon. If you guys aren't following me on my keto journey, um, I do film everything that I eat every single week. I show before and after pictures of me, of me in my bikini. I share how much weight I'm losing, how I'm feeling mentally and physically. If you'd like to see more of that, you can tap this eye right here. So let me tell you what we need to do for today. Today is Super Bowl Sunday. Um, we're going to a Super Bowl party at our neighbor's house later on this today. But before we go and get everything for that, I've got to pick out the girls' clothes. I've got to meal plan for the week. I have to do some YouTube stuff. And I have to plan how my week is going to go. And I need to do my monthly February plan um, in my Erin Condren planner. And I need to go to Aldi. So those are the things that I need to get done before we go to the Super Bowl party. Um, which is fine, but guess what, girl? This morning, I'm taking off, okay? We're gonna eat this breakfast. I'm gonna get back in the bed. Uh, we'll probably watch a movie together. It's going to be nice. <laughs> After that is when I'll start getting all the stuff done. So let me go ahead and get our breakfast done. Keto pancakes are looking and smelling mighty good, y'all. Here's the mix. I let it sit for 10 minutes. So now I'm just gonna let this cook. I made my husband our regular pancakes, and we're about to enjoy this childless breakfast. Here are my pancakes. And I use some of my favorite chalk syrup, maple syrup. It's so good. And I'm about to have a couple pieces of bacon and this is gonna be my breakfast. In case you wanted to see what the consistency looks like, it looks like that. Now, it tastes good, but it's not like a, your regular pancake, but it's definitely a good substitute. Next time, I think I will add two tablespoons of erythritol instead of one, because it's not as sweet. But again, it's very, very good. Hubby and I are still relaxing and I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee at 12.30 in the afternoon. My kind of Sunday setup. Okay, break time is over. So I feel nice and refreshed. Hubby is folding clothes in our master bedroom. I'm gonna fold the girls clothes in here and pick out their clothes. Again, I'm working on that new schedule of trying to do it on Friday or Saturday nights, but honestly, we just had family time Friday night and I didn't feel like it, so. It is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick out their clothes, fold these, um, and put them away. For those that don't know, that don't know, I like to pick out their clothes for the entire week, Monday through Friday. I check the weather, see what it's gonna be, and then um, I pick out their clothes so they don't have to do that in the morning. Um, if they don't like what I pick out, they need to decide and make the changes immediately. <laughs> so um, I kind of know them now, so I just know what they like and what they don't like. It's just crazy. So I'm gonna quickly do this. What makes folding clothes really fast is the fact that we don't fold pajamas. Half of the load is always pajamas. They put clean, fresh pajamas on every night. I just, my husband and I do the same thing. It's just like, everybody takes a bath, we put clean clothes on and get into the clean sheets. Um, we don't fold those. I'll show you guys where I put those. All of the pajamas go in this Big Lots um, storage container that I bought a year years ago now. Um, and we just put the pajamas in here. It used to be where Ava's was in the blue, Zara's was in the purple, but now it's the point where they pretty much can both wear the same pajamas, it doesn't really matter. Um, my husband and I try to go through it. Usually what ends up being pajamas is old t-shirts, old dingy leggings that turn into pajamas, um, these little shorts, you know, that kind of stuff. I ha we have a lot of pajamas because honestly, as soon as we get home, we all just change into our lounge wear. This is like lounge wear. We're playing in the house all day. Like they never go outside with these on. So what's the point in me taking the time to fold them, you know? So it's just really quick and easy. Shorts, t-shirts, and then winter ones go in each, um, correct bin and they know to come in here and pick out their pajamas. 
Boom, all done. Um, it's on the floor, it's like floor level. That's why it's like easy for them. And they, and then a lot of times they, what is this in here? Oh, well, that's not supposed to be in there. <laughs> a lot of times they uh, can take in, take their pajamas once I sort the laundry and they can put, they put them back themselves and the closet is still looking good. You know, I picked out their clothes. Um, I got this from Ikea. If you haven't seen my latest Ikea shop with me haul, you can tap this eye right here because that's the last time we got it. They used to just share this one that I got off of Amazon a really long time ago when Zara was probably like one or two. They don't, I can't find this exact one anymore. I don't know if they just don't make it anymore, but it was to the point where their clothes are getting bigger now and they can't share it. So that's why we bought this second one. And the closet's still looking good from when I cleaned it out with my mother-in-law um, at the top of the year. If you guys haven't seen that Sunday setup, you can tap this eye right here. So now that that is done, I'm gonna go downstairs and get some YouTube work done. Just started my load for the day, which I'm going to sanitize our towels and washcloths. I love seeing these empty because that means all of the clean clothes are folded and put away. And I still have sheets to wash, but I'm gonna slowly wash these. Like I said, I, I use the same laundry routine that I talk about in pretty much every Sunday setup. You could tap this eye right here to watch it. Um, one load a day use my delayed timer it'll all get done but this is all i'm going to focus on for today so i wanted to talk a little bit about last week's sunday setup it was just really rough and i really honestly thought about just not even uploading it and just saying i just will miss a week and we won't have a sunday setup for the week but you guys really come for me when i post either a different type of video on sundays or i don't do a sunday setup at all you guys will be like where's my sunday setup so I want to be real with y'all like and like with the realities of when you don't have a good day. Like I don't want to just be one of those YouTubers where I only film when I'm having a good day and my family's so perfect and we're just so great and we're this or that. I mean we are all those things but not all the time. You know what I mean? And so last Sunday was one of those those times and I haven't published it yet. I'm getting ready to sit down and do that and do all the SEO and all that. Um, but you know this week was a lot better. It's like... I am follow if you guys don't follow Mel Robbins on YouTube, man, she is incredible. She's doing this whole mindset reset challenge for the month of January. But even though January is over, um, you can still re-watch all of the videos because she went live like every single day talking about anxiety and stress and how you need to change your default um way of thinking and how to really visualize and positive thinking. I mean, it is so powerful. And at the end of the day, I know with me. I have to create small wins for myself in order for me to want to keep going and want to keep on striving to become better and want to take care of my family better and, and provide for my family better more and be the best mom I can be, be the best wife I can be. I have to make those small wins. If I don't have any small wins, it's like I automatically default to being upset, being frustrated, being angry. All of fear starts coming in and all of those negative emotions that, that we don't want to deal with those start overtaking my brain, you know? So this week I, I had a lot of small wins to add up and accumulate for the week. I set my expectations in my head so that I don't feel bad if I don't get something done or feel disappointed, you know what I mean? I just have to manage every single second of my week so that I'm able to create those small wins. So I'm feeling really, really good this week. So let me go ahead and get to this work because, you know, that's just what I do. Okay, so now we are on our way to Aldi. Um, right now it's like 3.24. We're supposed to be at the Super Bowl party at 5. I don't know if we're going to make it though because we still have to go pick up the girls from my mom's. <clears throat> we're going to go, but I don't know if we'll be there right at 5. Luckily, it's right in our neighborhood, so that works. Um, so, yeah, I am, we're going to Aldi and I'm going to make a quick list on my phone because I didn't have time to write it out and think about what we're going to have for the week to eat. I primarily need to go to Aldi because I like to buy my olive oil from there because I put olive oil on um, my girl's skin and my husband uses it for his skin and hair. And so um, we, I like to just get it there because it's affordable and you can buy organic olive oil from there too. So anyway, let me go ahead and make my list. Okay, so here's my quick list for um, Aldi. So what I plan on having this week is luckily and thankfully I do not have to cook tonight. Thank thankfully we'll be eating at our neighbor's. And then Monday we're gonna have steaks, uh, the same steaks that I had made, or the steaks that I bought when I went to Costco last time. If you haven't seen my January Costco haul, you can tap this eye right here. 
Um, and with that, I'm gonna make these creamy mushroom, this creamy mushroom sauce to go with the um, steaks that I found on off of Instagram. Her Instagram is Cafe Delights. And she has a she's a blogger. Love her stuff. Her stuff is really good. I've used a lot of her recipes before. So we're, we're gonna have that and green beans and I'll probably make myself some cauliflower mash and my family I'll have a baked sweet potato for. So we'll have that on Monday. Tuesday we eat at my mom's. Wednesday I have to do hair um, because the girls have their father-daughter dance on Friday so I'll be doing hair on Wednesday meaning taking their braids down and stuff which is why I'm not doing their hair today. And I need something quick so we're just gonna have tacos on Wednesday and we'll have to have that Wednesday and Thursday so I'll make enough um, for us to have leftovers in the next day and then you know Friday I'm off girl your girl doesn't cook on Fridays or Saturdays so um, yeah we should be go to, good to go hopefully I'll have enough to take for my lunches next week because I've been really working hard on trying to just take leftovers for lunch instead of going out to eat every day for lunch because girl that adds up and I'm trying to save my coins so that's the plan so let's get to Aldi and see what they got have you guys ever tried the Aldi okay. tortilla brand are they like um, the little scoops, Tostito scoops? Do they taste like that? Because my girls love Tostito scoops. And I can get some here. It's only 59 cents. That's so cheap. I'm going to give it a try. See how they like it. This beef jerky here. It's a good keto snack. You have to watch though. Because see, it's like three servings per bag. And I would quickly eat this bag. And that's 15 grams of carbs. So anyway, it is 329 now, I know I'm probably the only keto person that doesn't like pork rinds. I just do not like the taste of them. I don't know. They just, but I know you can cook some really great things with them. So I was thinking about just trying a bag to have in case I want to make, you know, a breading of some sort. Um, they are 79 cents. Maybe because when I tried the pork rinds, they were not seasoned and it just was not good at all. This is like a processed dream like just nothing but processed foods on this first aisle but I'm falling victim too for my children. I'm going to get myself some almonds because uh, I tend to sometimes I get hungry at work and I'll want like just like a little bit of almonds and instead of using the vending machine and spending a dollar every single time to get a little bag I'm going to keep um, some at home. Oh, I love pistachios they're so good. A little bit higher in carbs. There's five net carbs in a quarter cup. I guess I can make my own snack bags out of them. They are $4.49 though, that's expensive. I'd rather have the almonds because one ounce, about 27 pieces, is three grams of carbs. And I would count them out. I'm gonna get some minced garlic. Do I hear a dog barking? Maybe that's a child. That's horrible for me to say that, but <laughs> sorry. Uh, what is it? Oh, minced garlic and extra virgin olive oil. I bet you that tastes delicious. I'm gonna try this. I don't know how much it is. Oh, here it is. It's $1.79. That's a lot cheaper and it's a pretty big jar. They have Valentine's here. How much are they? They're $1.99, but these are the same exact ones that you find at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. But if your Dollar Tree is all out, you can always check, um, oh, fancy Nancy ones. It's cute. You can always check here at Aldi. These are so cute. Aw, wow, look at that. <laughs> That's useful. <laughs> but I don't know how you'd be able to cook for your family. On oh, I thought it was stainless steel. It's not. It's, um, I don't know what this is made of. Like, I don't know what that's made of, but it's very shallow feeling. It is $14.99. Wow, look at this. A slicer? I can probably use It's like a little mini mandolin. That's helpful. It's $8.99. Huh. Mm, I don't want to go crazy here in um, Aldi. Let me rein myself in. Look at these organizers, these drawer organizers. They're like made out of uh, metal. Which is really nice. They're like $5.99 a piece. Oh, come in this good size here. I can use this size in my drawer, but I'm trying not to go there right now. We have flax seeds and chia seeds here. I just don't like the consistency of chia seeds. I mean, it's straight fiber though, so I was thinking about just adding a scoop in my smoothies every day. Um, black seeds, 
uh, only has three grams of carbs here in four tablespoons but it has a lot of fiber I can use but six grams of protein which is amazing I can use the fiber though you know to have regular bowel movements and stuff what should I get should I get the chia seeds because I want to start liking chia seed pudding like you just put coconut milk and then the chia seeds I feel like I would like it but I don't know what should I do let's see how much are the chia seeds are chia seeds are 349 and the flaxseed is 199 hmm I don't know what do you guys think I'm gonna try the chia seeds oh they also have ghee here at um Aldi 169 I've never tried ghee I do like the fact that it's lactose free Oh, they don't have, oh, they have olive oil cooking spray. That's good. I don't want canola spray. I wish they had the coconut oil cooking spray. That would be helpful. These are cute. Two, comes two in a pack, $3.99. It's like, um, it's not flimsy, but it's like bendable plastic. They have two different sizes here. These are pretty. These metallic candles. What a beautiful jar, right? And then it has like the wooden top. Oh, they smell pretty good too. Pretty. Look at this red cabbage with apples. I bet you that tastes delicious. It's like a slaw. It has four grams of carbs in it. And three tablespoons. I guess you would eat this with what? Like on chicken? Steak? Not on a hot dog or anything. Like sauerkraut, right? I don't know. There's some green bananas. Bananas. Maybe we should get some of these. Bananas. They look pretty bruised up. Oh, these are organic bananas. These are organic, but I heard that bananas not it's not on the dirty dozen list, so I don't care if it's organic or not, you know. Let's see. Wow, they have organic grass-fed beef. Hmm. Doesn't have much fat in it, but still. How many pounds is that? One pound? That should be enough for dinner, right? But it won't be enough for two nights for a dinner. Huh. Salmon. That's nice. Yeah, we still have salmon in the freezer. They have a variety of different coconut oils, not coconut oils, coconut waters here. These have a ton of sugar in them, but huh. different um, flavors. How many sugars? Oh, it only has four grams of sugar. That's not bad. In the whole thing? Three. Oh, three. These are huge. They're $4.99. That's pretty cheap. Look how big it is. It's massive. It's something good to keep in your freezer. Ooh, they have shredded gruyere. Mmm. And gouda? Oh, no, that's good. I'm just looking for parmesan though. Like freshly shredded parmesan. This is a good keto snack here. It's $11.99. Panino tray. Huh. I just cannot find. I guess I'll just have to get this. Yo, this is Parmesan. Duh. Asiago. All right, let me get that. I'm hungry, y'all. I need to go. But these cracker cuts look so good. What you could do is you could bake them in the oven and make them crispy. And it'd be like a crunch cracker, you know? And I can't eat any crackers with it, so it's like, uh, maybe I should just say no. I'm gonna get some Nathan hot dogs for the girls just to have in the fridge. They do love a hot dog. I like Nathan's. I typically like to get this from Costco, though. Um, they are $3.67 for this 8-pack. It's way cheaper at Costco. They have the Kerrygold here, $2.85. That's the cheapest I've ever seen it besides Costco. Costco is, I believe, $11.99. You get four of them. So, but if you're in a bind, you don't have time to go to Costco, you can get your butter from here. But what I will get is this Kerrygold spreadable butter. Because it's sometimes so hard, especially with my kids, because my kids eat the Kerrygold on their toast and stuff, and biscuits, so I'm gonna get some of this. It's $3.85. Some heavy whipping cream. This is just, they just have the, this size. I don't like to run out, so I'm just gonna get a small thing. This is their only option for eggs. Um, hmm. I'll just have to send my husband to the store, to Publix or something, I get some eggs. So I like to at least get, um, Cage free. I mean, I like locally local hens from my local fam farmer, but the eggs aren't laying any right now, so I don't know. 
they have the hash browns here that my girls love. Do we still have any left from Trader Joe's? They don't really eat them anymore for breakfast. Well, they used to. Again, they're moody. One, one week they like it, the next week they don't. Let's see. Almost forgot my mushrooms. I found like a really good recipe for stuffed mushrooms with like cream cheese and stuff. But I'm gonna make that mushroom dish I talked about in the car, so. So these, these are, which are these? 169. Way cheaper than Publix. I need some dry cooking wine. Um, they don't have any cooking wine. So I'm just gonna get what they have here, which is a screw bottle of Pinot Grigio, so I can always put the top back on and just use it to cook whenever I need it. Aldi is packed. This is all the stuff we're getting. Okay, just picked up the kids, and now we're on our way home. We're back home, and let me show you really quickly what we got from Aldi. So we got these tortilla chips because the girls really like these. Um, we, I usually get Tostito scoops, but we're going to try these out to see if they like them. I got some salt and vinegar chips and some barbecue kettle chips for both of them. We'll see if they like them. We, My husband and I decided to try this pineapple berry. Like I said, it has 5 grams of carbs in the whole 14 ounce um, with no sugar alcohols, which is or added sugar, which is weird to me. So I don't know if that's really keto friendly. Um, some chipotle sauce because we're having tacos this week. Some olive oil to take upstairs because they use that for their skin and hair. Some cooking organic Mediterranean extra virgin olive oil. Some wine that I showed you in the store for cooking I'll be using that for. Two packs of the grass-fed um, organic ground beef. This is for our taco meals on um, Wednesday and Thursday. Some tomatoes for the tacos. I got this deli selection for myself as a snack to have. And some spreadable Kerrygold butter, some Parmesan cheese for that um, mushroom sauce, that mushroom gravy that I'll be making with our steaks tomorrow. Some sharp cheddar cheese, some hot dogs just to have for the girls to eat. Some minced garlic and olive oil. Can't wait to try this to see if there's a difference. I bet you there is. I bet you it's so flavor flavorful. Two packs of mushrooms for the mushroom gravy, some tortillas for our tacos. We decided to try these for the girls' lunches. They're like, um, I guess, uh, Aldi brand of Triscuit. We'll see if the girls like them. Like them. And then these mini cheese crackers, some olive oil cooking spray, some almonds to have at, for me as a snack. I'm gonna take these to work. Some heavy whipping cream, some chia seeds I'm gonna add to my smoothie to see how I like it. This Gouda sliced cheese as a snack I'm gonna be having with um, this lunch meat here. I can't wait to try that. Some chunked pineapples for the girls for their lunches. Altogether, we spent a total of around $78, so that's pretty good. I mean, I don't go to Aldi often because it's not like relatively close to me, like Publix and Kroger is like right there. That's my go-to grocery store when we don't go to Costco. So, but I think that's a, a pretty good deal. I, like if I were to have gone to Publix for all of this stuff, I would have spent well over a hundred dollars for sure. So now we're gonna get ready to head on over to the Super Bowl party. And then when I get home from the Super Bowl party, cause I'll probably only stay until halftime, I'll get the girls ready for bed. And then I plan on doing all of my planning and my planner and I'm gonna write out my meal plan for the week and all that stuff. I'm at my neighbor's house and I'm about to tear this up, but I'm not cheating, I'm so proud of myself. Three hours later. Hey guys, so we're just now leaving the party. Charles is walking us home. I mean, it's in our neighborhood. It's just around the block, literally half a block. So Charles is walking us back and he's gonna go back and finish watching the game. It's halftime, but I wanna get the girls in the bed. It's around 8.30 now, so. Uh, my mom thankfully gave them a bath today, so they don't need to take a bath tonight. And um, I'm gonna get them in the bed and then I'll finish doing what I need to do for the evening. All right, so the girls are fast asleep. It's like close to 10 o'clock. I ended up just snuggling with them in the bed for a little bit and um, they fell asleep right away and then I came down to do a little bit of work on my computer. Now I'm looking at my planner. I use an Erin Condren planner. I talked about this planner and everything in that my How to Plan a Dream Year video. If you haven't seen that video, you can tap this out right here. So I was just looking over February and thinking, well, do I really feel like pulling my stickers out tonight? Not really. So what I'm gonna do is like, I like to just pencil in things for the dates that I know of things that are coming up. And actually there's something on this day. 
We gotta pick up Girl Scout cookies. Nice. Really quick, I'm editing this week's Sunday setup and I just wanna quickly come on here and say thank you guys so much for the people who have donated boxes and bought Girl Scout cookies and supported Zara and our troop. I really, truly, truly appreciate it. I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. You guys are at the absolute best. And thank you guys so much for all the comments that I got in last week's Sunday setup when I had my meltdown. It's so good to know that I'm not alone. You know, we all have days like this and you guys were so encouraging and so supportive um you guys just lift me up and i tried that's why i try to do my best to provide content to you guys that uplift and support you so i really truly appreciate and love you all all right back to sunday setup which by the way if you would like to support our girl scout troop the link for the digital cookies are in the description box you can order cookies and have them sent to you or you can donate boxes it's up to you so i'm not going to sometimes i just don't use the stickers now i like it better when it's pretty like this. I like it a lot. And I have these words here that just help me out and just make me feel great because I look at this every day. So I read this book called The Four Agreements and I loved it so much. I was just taking notes on the book. I actually listened to the book. It was like an audio book. I was listening to it while I was at work. It's basically the four agreements and the four agreements that you need to make with yourself are make your word impeccable. Don't take anything personally. Don't make assumptions and always do your best. I know it sounds pretty basic, but when you listen to the book or read the book, man, some of the things he says, it's just like, it was so profound to me and like seriously life-changing when you apply it. You know, you can read books all day long, self-help books or books to help you figure things out or learn. But if you don't take action and implement what you're learning, then you're not really learning it, right? So that's why I wanted to write it down and to remind myself of these things about, because people say things because of themselves, not because of you. You know, when we make assumptions, we make assumptions because we don't have the courage to ask others or to take risk and enjoy your life is all that matters. Say no when you want to say no and yes when you want to say yes. Taking things, and this was the biggest thing for me, taking things personally is the maximum expression of selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about you. So no matter how somebody degrades or no matter how somebody treats you, it's on them, not you. You know what I mean? Nothing other people do is because of you. Man, it is a good book. And this right here was life-changing too. Excuse my horrible handwriting, but it says... When you are immune to the opinion of others and action of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. Can I get an amen, girl? I just love that book so much. Anyway, so this is where my February is looking. I will go back in and add the cute stickers and stuff because I just like to flip back through. And then something else that I do is I'll take my um, Instant Shop printer. Here, I'll show you guys in here in my office. I will take my Polaroid Zip printer. Sorry, I said instant shop, but it's my Polaroid zip printer and I'll print pictures from my phone and then I'll add it into here for the, just a couple pictures here. They're like, I printed this one from December when we went to church for Christmas. And so they're small enough to like fit in here. So I'll like put one here or um, up here or something. I don't know. Anyway, I just think they're so cute. So I like to do that. Um, so Again, when I have time, but I do like to just pencil things in so I can quickly look and see what we have going on. Something else that I like to do before I go to bed is um, I typically get up at five in the morning and do work on my business stuff in the morning from like five to 6.30. And then I get ready for work and try to leave, but for work no later than 7.15. So I like to have my computer all laid out here um, and everything for me ready to go. So I'm not like fumbling around in the morning trying to figure out or I usually have my files all ready and set to do whatever I need to do. And I'll write myself a list of emails that I need to respond to and so on and so forth. I find that it's best if I have it already all laid out. Then I have my work bag right next to me and then I pack everything up, put it in my work bag because I then usually edit on my lunch break at work. Oh, it's about 10, 15 and now I'm about to go upstairs and probably watch Real Housewives of Atlanta and call it a night. Um, thank you guys so much for um, watching and subscribing. I'm going to ask every single week, how are you guys doing on your goals for the month? Are we getting closer? Um, how did you plan your goals? Did you plan your goals like, like I did in the how to plan your dream year video? Again, tap the I right here in the upper right hand corner if you haven't seen that. Or did you do the 12 week year or did you, did you just like set 
three goals that you want to accomplish by the end of the year tell me what your system or method is and what do you find works best how have you been doing is it working maybe you need to adjust something but we have to create those small wins those small wins are so important at least for me um to just have that motivation to keep going you know and everything that i'm learning from mel robbins again it's just it's really really been life-changing and the biggest thing that i've done um, since taking this mindset reset with her is to not have your phone in your bedroom at night girl it's rough because i like to scroll instagram before bed and then when i wake up in the morning after i say my prayers i have like my little morning routine i usually scroll instagram before i start working so um but actually it's been so nice and honestly i've been waking up on my own now what i'll do is i'll plug in my phone in my bathroom and have my alarm set so that i have to literally get up out of my bed and cut the alarm off no snooze for me girl so that's been an adjustment but it's been a really nice adjustment i really like the effects of that and so at nighttime after i say my prayers i'll think about what time i want to wake up in the morning and then hopefully my body will just naturally wake up and sometimes it works um so it's it's been really helpful i, I highly suggest you guys check out her videos but all right that's enough of me rambling on thank you guys so much for watching i hope and pray that you guys have a wonderful week if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye